In this tutorial in CyberLink Power Director, we're going to continue our look at using the Adorage filter as an effect and modifying the filter. This lesson will focus on using the overlay properties of the filter. As you can tell by now, the Adorage filter is a very complicated tool. You can do a lot with it, but it takes a little bit of thought. So what we're going to do is take this clip of this couple and we'll take the filter from the effects room, drag it down into our effects track under track number one. Then with it highlighted, we'll click on Modify and we'll click on Standalone Effect. This will give me a place where I can see my filter in action. So what I'd like to do here is go ahead and take one of the options I have. Your list may look different from mine. I'm just going to take the hearts and click the 01 option. And we've had two lessons dealing with the mixer and how to change features there. Now we're going to move over to the overlay section. And the overlay is also found in this tab here as opposed to the mixer. What do we have when we see the overlay? Well, let's look back at the mixer. The mixer basically showed me the outline here of my alpha mask and then I could change the border colors. Now when we go to the overlay, what we're looking at, if you look at the preview window, is you, we have the graphic inside this mask. It happens to be a rose in this case. What can you do to modify the overlay? Well, you can first of all make sure there is no overlay. So I'll click on None here, and then all we have here is the simple mask. So if you want to make it a more simple kind of effect, you can just click on None. Another option here, Video Source A and B are only used when you're using it as a transition. The other thing you can choose is the file, which is the default, so it adds this picture of a rose in the middle of my graphic. Another option you have is the Color Temperature file. And if you notice what this does, it takes a, a look at the, the temperature of the image and, and it inserts that in so that it's slightly darker in the middle, a reddish tone. Or you can go ahead and, and s select a completely different file inside your graphic. I'll take this green balloon here, click on Open, and now that is part of what we have here. Now we're using the temperature of that file in the middle. Let's go ahead and click on to the file itself and see what that does. Okay. So there are all kinds of options and what you can use to vary the effect, the overlay graphic. Let's try another one for fun. We'll click on the file folder again and go to select file. And this time let's click, um, oh, let's click this rose on a white background. Click on open. And we use that, and now we see that that's what we have in the middle. Um, you can also change some motion with it. Uh, I recommend uh, uh, not doing that. We'll, we'll give you an example. We'll start the position uh, with a larger size, maybe 52% here. And we'll end the position full screen. And now we see what happens. We have an image within an image. Um, it's looking a little weird, but uh, these are some of the kinds of things you can do uh, when you uh, adjust the properties. And if you always want to go back to default, simply click Reset at the bottom, and it will go back to what you wanted. The other thing that we can control in the overlay, not the mixer again, is the clipping mask. And right now it's set to heart, 002 TIFF file. Well, let's select a different file. Uh, let's go to this one here, click on Open, and now you see I have a different clipping mask. The rectangu rectangular part, again, doesn't probably do what I want. We'll click another one just for fun. Select another file in my images here. Let's take this one here, click on Open, and see what happens here. Now we have a different kind of clipping mask. Uh, nice, not that's not too bad after all. Okay, you can also change the two other settings that I'm going to focus on. There are some here that that um, are, in my mind, somewhat inconsequential. The covering is important. 
the covering will give you kind of the opacity of the overlay. So if I click here, it's down to zero. I don't see it at all. And if I go all the way up to 100%, we'll see it's, uh, it's, it's totally uh, opaque, non-transparent. So that's an interesting way to use that one. We also have a fade in and fade out. I, I'm not seeing them functioning here as well as when I'm using this as a transition. And um, I'll let you experiment with some of the other features. I don't, I don't really see the difference that some of them make. And again, if you want to reset it, just click on the reset button and it will go back to the default that you find there. So these are some ways in which you can use the overlay. Um, the clipping mask, you can do none as well, or you can use the file. So I click on none here. I have no clipping mask. And I'm basically back to only what I found in my mixer controls, my mixer tab that we dealt with in the other lesson. Um, so resetting it again, I have both that and I have the overlay. So there are several ways in which you can modify uh, your effect with the Adorage as you use it in your from your effects room. Um, we'll be adding some tutorials on how to use it as a transition.